What up crew? Basement gym tour time. All right, this is the rave dungeon or whatever funny names people give it. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about basement gyms, how I put this together and some of the issues that people have to deal with. So starting out, it's a actually a pretty small footprint. It's about 16 feet long and only nine feet wide. So when I'm doing squats down there, there's not a lot of clearance. It's even a challenge to uh, load the bar. But uh, anyway, what do I got? Scout Hyper, very important in small space. Um, collapses against the wall. Got this old plyo box that I use uh, as a table and as a plyo box, my brother left it here. It's uh, old and not very nice, but it works fine. Got the C2 rower, <laughs> important banner, decoration. Um, all my strength equipment down here, um, main strength equipment is from Omni Fitness. It's a Minnesota company. They make good stuff at a price. That's a serious bench. Um, I've got this half rack, 410 pounds of uh, comp bumpers. Again, space conscious. Two barbells. Um, and I have some little steel plates back there too, just for adders. Uh, I used to have a full rack in here and uh, overhead space is an issue. That's always gonna be an issue, or generally will be in a basement. These mini racks are great because um, you can tuck them up against the wall and that opened up basically this entire floor um, for activities. Got some DIY storage, uh, just a little two by four thing to rack the bumpers, put this box together to hold my big bucket of chalk, kettlebells, collars, etc. And then <clears throat> just some uh, additional storage for the training bar, hex bar, PVC pipes, through a board up there just to hang some hooks. Um, for the vest, ropes, bands, belts, etc. <clears throat> then, uh, since there's no pull-up bar on the rack, I have my favorite piece of equipment down here, the uh, DIY fat free-spinning pull-up bar. Makes it extra spicy. Got my rings. Um, they're just hung on coat racks from the Home Depot. Um, <clears throat> then, what else do I got? Uh, got these power blocks. My kids requested those. They're uh, starting to train more and more, and you know they like to do bro sessions because they're teenagers. So wanted some dumbbells. Uh, that's sort of it for the main gym. There is an Airdyne tucked back here that I don't use, and I'm going to give to a buddy because who likes that thing? And then out here, probably you know, best purchase I've ever made living in Minnesota is the Trueform trainer. So had this thing about a year. I use it all the time, so much so that I, you know, I hardly ever row anymore. So um, really key, not only for basement athletes, but cold weather athletes. It's October 30th, it's already below freezing this morning. So pretty important, really changed the game for me. I mean, I find uh, that was probably one of the best investments I could have made just because of how we train, particularly on the hard to kill track with all the, um, you know, different, uh, mixed modal stuff so uh, lastly just um, you know if you are putting a gym together I really do believe in keeping it super simple you'll see I do not have a lot of extras down here I have very nice things but very few of them and things that I use all the time uh, other than that plyo box but look you don't need a lot I 90% of the time I'm using my true form barbell bumpers um, pull up bar like that's really all you need and lastly, get yourself some LED lights. It's fun. I mean, how often do you uh, get to do squats with uh, you know flashing lights around you? Unless you're, I don't know, doing them illegally and getting arrested. It's a lot of fun. So get you some LED lights. That's it. Keep moving.